missile inbound. Enemy down. Well, hey, triple kill. That's how it's done on your computer. Look at how beautiful this game is. God, I love Call of Duty Mobile. It looks so nice on a PC. Well, hey, everyone. This is Exotic Gaming here. Thank you for clicking on this video. We're back with some more Call of Duty Mobile, literally one day after the last video I posted on this game, and as you can see from the title, today I'm going to be showing you all one of the only ways you can get Call of Duty Mobile on your computer, and the only legit way you can get this game on your computer. This is the only way that is safe and is not going to get you banned. It's very nice because this is actually a fantastic emulator that's going to run your game very well, as you can see from the background gameplay here, and I love it. So if you're new to the channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Michael, better known as Exotic Gaming, and many of the past videos I've posted over the past couple of months have been Call of Duty Mobile videos. I've posted many different tips and tricks videos and tutorials, everything from the best settings to win, best overall tips, best loot spots in Battle Royale, and even 10 things pros do in this game. So many different things have been posted of this game to my channel, and I want this channel to be that go-to channel for Call of Duty Mobile tips and tricks. If this is something that you guys are interested in, I would hope it's worthy enough of a subscription. Thank you so much. Make sure to leave a like if you do enjoy, and let's begin this tutorial. All right, guys, so here we are now on my computer's home screen. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or if you're like one of the five people in the world that uses Internet Explorer, I guess you can open that up too. But you're gonna search Gaming Buddy on your search engine, and you're gonna click the first link that appears, tgb.qq.com. You might be very confused because it says play PUBG Mobile on PC. I get that, I understand. We wanna play Call of Duty Mobile, not PUBG Mobile on PC, but as you can also see, Tencent Game Buddy has now been upgraded to Game Loop. If we click the More button, we can see more about it, and it says that it not only supports many different mobile games, but also PC and web games. So they also allow us to play Call of Duty Mobile, as well as many of the other ones that we can see right here. So you're going to click that Download button, and the best thing is, with this program, it's the only emulator that's safe. It is the only emulator that is actually endorsed and allowed by the developers, and therefore, it's the only emulator that's actually not going to get you banned. Key thing right there. Now, when you go through the installation process, again, it's very, very simple. You're going to probably be on a screen that might look something like this, maybe My Games, and it might be empty. Go over to your Game Center and search Call of Duty. You should see Call of Duty Mobile right here. If not, you might even see it right there in the Recommended tab because, again, this just came out. It's probably going to be somewhere, somewhere right here in a big banner. So click on Call of Duty Mobile. Click the Install button, which will be right down here. It's going to take a little bit because it is a decent sized game and then eventually you're going to be able to play that game and that's it. You're going to be able to go through the whole tutorial, everything that you need to do in order to actually get this game to run properly. But do not click away just yet because I do need to mention a couple of things. Since you are playing on an emulator, you're going to need to have different controls than obviously you would have on your mobile device. And also, there are going to be some controls here that are going to be a little bit different from other first-person shooters on your computer. Now, the really nice thing about Call of Duty Mobile is when you're playing it on your computer, you're going to have a very smooth and seamless experience. Here's the thing. You're playing a mobile game on a PC, right? And if you have a average budget phone and an average budget PC... The PC is running just a phone game, which phone games take up less processing power than PC games for the most part. It's not like you're running Black Ops 4 or Modern Warfare or GTA 5 on your computer right now. No, you're playing a phone game on your computer, and because of that, it's going to be very seamless. You're not going to experience lag for the most part, and it's going to run better on a budget computer than a budget phone, and that's really nice. So we're going to go over to our multiplayer here, and I'm going to jump into, I don't know, let's go into Nuketown. Why not? I love Nuketown. It's always a good map to jump into for the very beginning. But before we do that, after you go through the tutorial, you'll notice that the sensitivity is unbelievably high. So you're going to need to go over to your set and sensitivity settings, scroll down, you can click and drag to move. 
put those way down. Now, if you're watching this and you only play on a mobile device, you're going to be very confused because, I mean, you're not going to have a sensitivity of 18. That's unbelievably low. But when you're playing on your computer, you need to have these very low sensitivity settings because for whatever reason, they actually work like that. I think it's because you're not going to be nearly using as much screen space on a phone compared to a computer. Whereas on your phone, you only have so much room to move your thumb or your fingers or however you actually play this game. You have a whole mouse pad when you're on a computer and it's a lot different. So I figure that's the big reason why you're never going to have like 100 sensitivity, sensitivity on a computer because it's just, it's not going to work. So yes, let's actually show you guys how it works. Now, if you're watching this and you really just want to get going and playing this game, I completely understand that. You don't really have to watch any more of this video, but hey, uh, you know, I, I post a lot of different Call of Duty mobile tips and tricks videos on my channel. Maybe this video is going to be enough to earn your subscription. I hope it is, and um, maybe you want to stick around and listen to the commentary, see how my gameplay is, stuff like that. So yes, here we go, jumping into Nuketown, one of my very first matches here. Absolutely demolishing every single person we're gonna come across, all right? Not a single person is going to be left alive. Not even this guy. Not even these guys. I'm actually going to be included in that very soon. All right, let's chill for a sec. Let me not die, thank you very much. Very nice, very nice. Oh my god, there's a guy right there. Probably should have used a knife. But you know what? Sometimes it's just not cool to do that. No! Please, please. Oh, thank god. I thought I was going to die there for a second, dude. Got way too close. Way too close for comfort. How's it going? How's it going? You guys are both dead. Very nice. Exotic on PC casually destroying the entire enemy team. That's how we roll. Oh my god, I'm going to die. I'm going to die! I just want to get a perfect KD ratio. I haven't gotten that yet. No! No. It's alright. We're at 13 to 6. At least we're going to win. I mean, I'd really have to be very bad in order to lose. So... Ah, uh, where's the button? It's 5. I'd honestly recommend changing 5, 4, and 3. It's kind of difficult for me personally um, to use these buttons because I have to reach way up high on my screen in order to actually, or, or my computer, I should say, in order to hit them. Like, I have to look down at my keyboard in order to press that. It's, it's, it's inconvenient a little bit, but, you know, it's whatever. Again, it's the nice thing about this. You can completely customize your key bindings just like you can completely customize your touchscreen controls. And I'd say you're probably, you're given better options to customize on a computer versus on a phone or a tablet. Because you only have a small screen on your tablet. You can have so many different buttons on your keyboard. You can add extended things to your keyboard. Like, did you know that? You can actually add more than, than you know, one simple part of a keyboard. You can add other buttons. You can use your mouse. Certain buttons you can add onto your mouse. Other stuff like that. It's pretty crazy, dude. You can... It's just insane. It's just insane. And I'm using, like, default settings right now. My dude, I am... Nope! Nope! I'm reloading. That's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing right at this exact second. Let me just reload real quick. Thank you. I have seven bullets left. Seven bullets. And I died again! It's alright. I have a fantastic kill-death ratio. And that's all that matters, okay? Let's, uh... Let's... No, oh, this... Okay, see, alright. Here, there's one little complaint I have. Predator missile is very difficult to control on a computer. I was trying to click and drag on my screen to move it to the right location, and it wasn't working. It accidentally double-tapped. So, something to keep in mind. You might want to figure out the best way to use that Predator missile so you can actually use it to the best of your ability, because if not, well, that thing's gonna be pretty much useless. And you don't want a useless Predator missile, because that thing's gonna... It's gonna basically help you win. Many times. Many times. So hey, here we go! Look at this, final kill cam from Medusa Mango. <laughs> what I wanna know is how that guy, Ran Daikon, just, just ran, ran a Daikon, he just ran right past the enemy. The Russian username. Survived until the very end. But that guy, he just ran right past it. He was like, oh, wait, hold on a second. There's an enemy standing in this doorway. Interesting. Yeah, let's uh, let's kind of wrap things up, though, here. Honestly, I don't have too much else I need to say. Um, I did pretty well. I don't know how many kills I got. I think I got over 20 kills. I got more than half of the ones. So that's pretty cool. And I've already leveled up to level 4. 
We can level up so quickly in this. And okay, 27 kills. That's not bad. Considering some of these are not actually bots. Some of these are real players. I'm not going up against AI. I'm going up in a ranked match. So that's pretty cool. There are some bots. I'd like to say, you know, maybe these guys are bots. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So um, that's basically it. Oh, cool. Claim rewards. That's nice. Make sure to claim your rewards. I don't know if you guys realize that. Mark all is red. There we go. Um, that's basically it for today's video. There's my username, Exotic on PC. I hope you all did enjoy this, and I hope you all found this useful. If this video was worthy enough of a subscription for you, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I have many, many more Call of Duty Mobile tips and tricks videos, tutorials, and so much more posted on my channel. Um, it's a pretty cool playlist that I have so far. I'll have it linked down below in the description. You might want to check it out. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. Make sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Comment down below other videos you'd like to see me post. If you want me to do other tips and tricks videos that I've not uploaded already, comment the ideas down below, and I can do them in the very near future. But, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode.